Folks, the day has finally arrived. I've been waiting for this for, oh my goodness, maybe like over a year. I don't even know when this set was announced at this point. It's been so long. Arguably the most anticipated set of all time, uh, maybe close to the 20th character pack and the SDCC Master Chief. This is a big one. And I want to point out at the beginning of this video, this was sent to me for free by Mega Constructs. Thank you guys. You, you, you're the absolute, uh, the, the absolute top dogs. I mean, I contacted Mega. I said, listen, uh, I really need to do a review of this thing. Um, the community's waiting for like a video or two or three of me uh, building this. Like I'm gonna be doing a live stream tomorrow. You can join me more details soon. I'll be building the whole set. I, I like how in this video, I'm kind of being vague on what the set is, even though the title and thumbnail will be so alarmingly obvious. Yeah, it's the Falcon Sweep, boys. We got the Falcon Sweep. Yes, and I just love that uh, that mega packaging, you know? That's when you know it's like official. Yeah, I reached out to Mega and they sent me this. Thank you so much, guys. I was really struggling to get it. I'm hoping uh, certainly that we're only on the uh, cusp of Falcon Sweep becoming available. And I'm really hoping that Mega don't miss the ball on this one. I don't think they will because it's such a premium and it means so much to people. Certainly just the value of each individual Halo Hero uh, Noble Team member is just absurd. So I'm really hoping this one is well distributed. The Falcon Sweep, guys. I absolutely love that it's in that mega packaging. And we're just gonna go like this. Oh, oh, whoa, very nice. Okay, so this is gonna work in uh, three different ways. Um, the first video is what you're watching right now, the unboxing. The second video is going to be me building it on a live stream that's gonna to be tomorrow, 3 p.m. CST. You can check out the link to that live stream right now with all the details. It's gonna to be tomorrow on Sunday. Really hope you'll all join me for the build. Oh, I can see it now, look at that. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Do you wanna see Falcon Sweet? Lat the UNC Falcon, UNC Falcon de Buscuda, 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 Offensiva do UNC Falcon. Okay, so uh, this is the Halo Universe packaging. It's not the brand new mega packaging, but it does have some of the features that a lot of the new mega packaging is going to have. For example, the characters lined up. I love the fact that they're all just side by side, all six of them, just not even fighting, just uh, having like a basic stance. I really do love that. And then we also have the six characters on the back, all with their weapons. Uh, the weapons are, yes, pretty standard. DMR for Carter, shotgun and Kukri for Emil, the chain gun for George, sniper for Jun, Magnum for Cat, and assault rifle for Noble Six. And there's even a few little painted decals on these. They're not just basic. Like Cat has a little stripe, so does Noble on their weapons. So does George actually, but a uh, sort of amber stripe. Uh, and then these three, I think by the looks of things, at least the shotgun is black and gray. I think the DMR is black and gray as well. And the sniper, I think they're all painted, which like I really didn't expect that. That is a big uh, surprise to me. I thought with just how uh, crazy this set was, they certainly wouldn't include painted weapons, so bravo. Noble team, equip noble, equipo noble, equipa noble. Uh, I don't know how to say the, uh, the Russian. Halo Mega Constructs UNSC Falcon Sweep. And yeah, we got the Halo Universe branding. Best thing that Mega's done, best decision they've made is to branch off, uh, make two separate timelines, the Halo Universe, which is everything that came before and gives them the ability to cover comics and movies and manga or whatever they want. And then the Halo Infinite sets are just Halo Infinite, like we're seeing with the new Halo Infinite series for blind bags. We also have a really nice printed crate. There's loads of accessories here. I also apologize for the lighting in this video. Uh, the whole electricity for my building has gone off. So we're, we're in the dark a lot, quite literally. And I can't wait to compare this Falcon to my old Falcon. I don't have the old Falcon here, but I think uh, maybe my friend Strandy can bring one over so we can compare. You can see the new Fiesta helmet and Arbiter's Quest on the back and two extra grenades, six base plates, some sandbags. Oh man, if this ain't, what is that beeping? Oh, it's probably the fridge saying, warning, no electricity. Uh, fusion coil, sandbags, 
It's so insane. It's like honestly so insane. And if you want to take a closer look at Noble Team, I would recommend you checking out Demarcation Media's videos. He's been comparing all of Noble Team figures that have ever released. It's a really, really interesting topic. Demarcation Media does a lot of comparison videos. Much respect for the guy. And we've also got a lot of uh, additional like translucent studs. Stop beeping, Fridge. And we've got a lot of additional translucent studs, printed details. This one is gonna blow the old Falcon out the water. And yes, we, we got a new Falcon kind of because new articulation figures can't fit in the old Falcon. It was definitely made for old articulation. And it was also about time we got a new Falcon. I don't know if they'll make any color variants of this. Probably not because Mega doesn't seem to like make many uh, alternate build releases nowadays. Anyway, <laughs> the UNSC Falcon sweep, guys. We did it. Thank you so much, Mega, for, for sending this to me. I wanted to be transparent that Mega did send this. Beautiful uh, side image there and another lineup. Oh, look at that, man. That's cinematic. That could go on a game box art. That is so epic. Yes. Shout out to Mega. Shout out to the UNSC Falcon Sweep, as I've been coining it probably the best collectible they've ever made, uh, next to the MCC uh, Master Chief I mentioned earlier. But I mean, not much comes close to this. It's pretty outrageous. The fact that you get all of Noble Team, they'll never do this again. What I'm hoping for, maybe uh, fall of next year, I'm making this prediction now, fall of next year, we're going to get an Alpha 9 set. Maybe it'll be an Oni building? Probably not. Um, it could be the trash compactor that we see uh, in the final mission that comes with all of Alpha 9, maybe even a version. Yeah, I'm, I'm making those predictions. I think it's just, I've been saying for a while, it's about time that Mega just re-release old sets and old figures that are just becoming too expensive. Like, I'm all about collectibles. I really enjoy uh, the idea of things like increasing in value over time, particularly Halo Heroes. Uh, it's really cool. It makes you feel like you own a limited collectible. But the problem is when uh, kids are coming into the hobby and they can't collect their favorite heroes. That's what's a shame to me. I don't mind it, because the thing is, you release this and it has all of Noble Team, I don't think that will deplenish the value too much of the Noble Team Halo heroes because they're still on their own gorgeous base plates. Usually they'd have better painted decals. I think these are probably on par with uh, Halo heroes, but usually if you get a set release, for example, the Kelly, uh, that just came out in the Razorback. When we get the Kelly in Halo Heroes, I guarantee it'll have better paint decals, better uh, applications. It's just a more premium figure. You're paying more for the uh, for like an individual figure. So that's my piece. I think Mega does need to continue re-releasing old sets. Thankfully, Mega did come true with the restock of the 20th character pack. People were starting to debate whether that was actually gonna happen. But there have been so many new 20th character packs coming to Amazon. I bagged a few and that'll be in a, a new video coming soon. A couple of them are from my friend in England. And yeah, I will be live streaming the Falcon Sweep, 3 p.m. tomorrow, that's Sunday CST. Really hope uh, you all join in. I think it'll be a really exciting live stream. I know a lot of people are hyped to see my opinions of this and maybe just hyped to see me build it. When I built the last Falcon about, uh, oh gosh, maybe about uh, nine months ago now, I split my finger open uh, trying to put the, the top to, uh, into the bottom of the Falcon and it, it like it collapsed and it was a very hilarious live stream. So yeah, shout out to you all. You stay awesome, you stay safe out there, folks. Shout out to Mega once again for the Falcon. Can sweep and I'll see you tomorrow for the build. Have a good one. The domain is signing off. Please, buy me all the time you can.
contact with Visegrad relay was lost last night. All signals flatlined at 2600 hours. I responded with trooper fire teams, which have since been declared MIA. And now you're sending us. The Office of Naval Intelligence believes deployment of a Spartan team is a gross misallocation of valuable resources. I disagree. Lieutenant. Commander, sir. I'm Cardinal. That's Cat, Noble 2, Neil and George 4 and 5. You're riding with me, Noble 6. Not gonna lie to you, Lieutenant. You're stepping into some shoes the rest of the squad would rather leave unfilled. Me, I'm just happy to have Noble back up to full strength. Just one thing. I've seen your file. Even the parts the Oni sensors didn't want me to. I'm glad to have your skill set. But we're a team. That lone wolf stuff stays behind. Clear? Got it, sir. Welcome to Reach. Barely getting you. What's your situation? Over? Colonel, this is Noble One. There are no rebels. The Covenant are on reach. Acknowledge? Come again, Noble One? Did you say Covenant? Affirmative. It's the Winter Contingency. May God help us all.